Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video we will talk about how to remove liquid metal residues from your CPU or even CPU cooler. This video is brought to you by the Seasonic Prime 80 Plus Titanium Power Supply. With the Prime series, Seasonic offers a high quality lineup which I have been using for many years in my systems and also for extreme overclocking. For me personally, the hybrid mode is the most important feature. While the 135mm fan is very quiet in general, the hybrid mode allows the fan to only run when it's really necessary. 94% efficiency combined with fully modular cable management and 12 years of warranty speaks for itself. So liquid metal usually consists of indium and gallium and then depending on which manufacturer you're using, it can also be tin or some other like smaller elements. Depending on the material of your heat spreader and cooler, it can happen that the liquid metal forms an alloy with the top layer of the material. So especially if you're using naked copper, then usually on the top layer you will have um, an alloy between indium, gallium and the copper. And if you remove the cooler, you will have some stains on the cooler, which looks like silver. It's not really an issue because it does not affect the performance in a negative way, but it wouldn't look that beautiful. And you have the same issue on CPU heat spreaders. Even though they're nickel plated, nickel usually works as a diffusion barrier. So um, applying liquid metal on nickel plated surfaces is a lot better. You will have a lot less issues. But even then sometimes, as you can see on this 7900X heat spreader, sometimes you have those kind of residues. And if you want to get rid of the liquid metal, usually the best um, you can do is using some kind of like cleaning spray. This is like a PCB cleaner and then you can also use acetone. Acetone works really, really well if the liquid metal is still liquid. But then if you have this stuff on there, which looks like it's kind of hardened, it's kind of like it formed an alloy with the nickel on the top surface, then you have an issue. You cannot remove it that easily. Apart from the fact that it doesn't look that beautiful anymore, you might also have issues sending the CPU to RMA. So I had a case yesterday at Case King office when a colleague of mine approached me with an AMD Threadripper CPU and actually you couldn't read anything of the AMD Threadripper heat spreader anymore. So everything was covered with like liquid metal residues that kind of hardened. So he asked me if there was a way to remove the hardened um, components so you can see what's written on the heat spreader again. That's mainly important if you want to return your CPU if it's damaged. Then AMD and Intel, they usually require that you can read the serial number. It's the same as here on the 7900X. You cannot really read serial number anymore. So if I would have returned that CPU back to Intel for RMA reasons, they would probably decline the RMA and say they cannot read the serial number. The best way to remove residues of the liquid metal of the gallium and indium is hydrochloric acid. So of course, I don't want to motivate you to go out to the stores and everybody to buy um, hydrochloric acid because it's still kind of dangerous, right? So if you're using this, make sure you use proper protection. So you always should use gloves. You should always use protection gear for your eyes and always avoid that you breathe in any of the fumes of the hydrochloric acid. So in this case, I'm using 4% hydrochloric acid, which I just bought off Amazon. You shouldn't use a higher concentration. You can maybe use like 5%, but anything higher than 10% is absolutely not necessary because this works really, really well. So as I said before, my colleague approached me yesterday with his 1950X and we successfully removed most of the residues of the liquid metal by using the hydro hydrochloric acid. So basically just put the CPU on a surface where you can properly grab it with the gloves and then you just wipe with the hydrochloric acid several times across it. You can straight see that you can remove most of the residues. Obviously it wouldn't look like new again, but the only goal of this is to remove as, as much as possible so you're able to read again what was written on the IHS. So I will now set up the camera on the table and then we will try the same thing again with this 7900X heat spreader. So as you can see, I applied a little bit of the hydrochloric acid on this towel and I will try to wipe it across the heat spreader and uh, see how much we can remove. So after wiping the CPU several times with the hydrochloric acid, you can see a lot of residues on this tissue. Also, you can see that it's 
it, it improved. It's not as impressive as with the AMD Threadripper CPU, but you can completely read the serial number, you can read the batch, you can read everything, so you can clearly see what kind of CPU it is. So um, if you want to send the CPU back to RMA purposes, this should be perfectly fine to send it back like this. So yeah, if you have any issues with uh, liquid metal residues on your heat spreader or cooler, this could be the way you could solve it. Since the result of the 7900X heat spreader was not that impressive, we will just watch the footage again of the AMD Threadripper CPU because on this CPU the result before and after was really impressive. So after wiping the CPU several times with a hydrochloric acid and in the end also wiping it again with a normal cleaner, you can see some significant changes. Obviously the CPU doesn't look as new, but you can see you can read everything again. So for RMA purposes, this should be perfectly fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it might help you if you're in the situation that you have to remove some liquid metal residues. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. See you soon.